Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Tenny Como. We're going to do run cast today. Richard Marks has joined me. They can't see you. You're behind the camera. <laughs> you waved. Um, it is uh, the 26th of December and we are fishing right behind the fish house which is off the landing here at the Branson Landing. And we've been fishing for a couple hours and all we can catch are stinking trout and a few little bass. We're actually fishing for crappie, but don't tell anybody. But we hadn't caught any. Uh, we've caught a lot of fish right here. Caught a few fish down at the fountain and a few fish up above the Branson boat dock. But this is this got a lot of trout in it. Um, but we're just kind of um, experimenting since we couldn't catch any crappie. I'm throwing right now a, a little um, 50th ounce black and yellow uh, 50th ounce jig and about four pound line down to the jig and then a float. I'm about four foot deep. And Richard's still fishing for crappie. He's got a little garland. Uh, looks like, is that the chicken? Is that the? Yeah, electric chicken. Electric chicken. It's pink and chartreuse. It's a soft plastic bait. 30 second ounce head. And um, as you can see, I'm right up against the, uh, the fish house on the downstream side. You got one. First cast. You gotta step out here where they you can they can see you catching the fish on the first cast. See where the camera's pointing? It's right out here. I can grab it. Oops. Just hold it up. There, there you go. go. <laughs> there it is. There it is. First cast. First cast. But his first cast doesn't count. What? What? <laughs> it doesn't. If you were wearing the microphone, it would count. Uh, yeah, that's how it works. I'm probably fishing a little bit too shallow, but out here, we've been uh, actually catching most of the fish and closer to the bank. Um, but the landing is full of people today. It is packed. Day after Christmas, beautiful day. They're still running one unit. Table Rock just dropped down below 914. Ooh. You have a bite? It's what? You saw it? I saw it. That was crappy. Down well, you know, you said that there was some structure out here. Um, it was only about three feet deep. From the boat? Yeah, about three feet deep. Deep? Hmm, three feet deep, he said. Okay, I'm backing up. I was kind of kind of head towards the, the bank where I think I would do better, but... black and yellow jig. You just have another bite. Yeah, just missing the head. Richard's been catching a lot of fish on that garland. What do you call it? A crappie bait? Garland? Yeah, it's just a... oh, I forget what you call them. Crappie. Everybody that fishes for crappie knows what I'm talking about. You're good. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. We played basketball this morning, which was fun.
Blake and uh, Levi went out last evening and they um, they're headed upstream up through the narrows and um, they saw a bunch of fish over in the shallow side of the lake there at the narrows and I say shallow two foot, two foot over there is deep most of it's foot 18 inches so they they had their waders wish you'd catch one of those I'd like to see what they are well um, so they circled back and got out of the boat and waited that area yesterday uh, yesterday afternoon and um, they caught some nice fish they caught some real nice fish I think um, Blake's Blake's was a little over 20 inches and and uh, Levi had one over 21 inches both of them beautiful rainbows and spawning colors I think I have pictures of them and they caught those on scuds drifting scuds under an indicator and um, last last year I went up in that area when they're running water all the time like they're running now uh, there's actually a lot of rainbows spawning on that flat right real close right up against the bank I mean uh, they're they're not out more than oh 20 feet 25 feet from the bank a lot of reds a lot of clean gravel areas that that um, those fish have cleaned off of, of red and so we know we've been getting some natural reproduction and if they continue running this one unit all the time that's they ought to they ought to go out and have a good hatch there be pretty cool but it's not it's not something that we have to have here on the lake to sustain the trout population. The, um, they stock, we were just talking about, they stock about 550,000 rainbows a year. And I'm, you had your chance to catch that crappie. You can fish behind the other side. I'm going in where I caught these trout earlier. There's some trout back here surfacing, too. I've got to turn the boat where I'm going to get you on my back cast. I gotta change the camera. Let me fish off the other side of the boat. I gotta change the camera. Ah! <laughs> Missed him. I got him that time. And it is a trout. It's a trout. That's what the people love. They do. 
I'd rather have a crappie. <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch again. Ah, uh, the moss. One thing that's a lot different this year than past years is there is a lot more moss. Big moss beds all over the place. This usually is a pretty good place for those stalkers to congregate. That's a dink. We were talking to a gentleman here a minute ago that was on the wall walking by from the West Memphis area. He was talking about the fishing back where he's from. Said he ties his own jigs. Stocked. Conditions aren't right for them to uh, spawn. And Are they all bows? No, they stock uh, brown trout, brown trout rainbows. It's all brown? No, uh, they stock 550,000 rainbows and about 17,000 browns a year. The browns are the trophy fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, and plus I live close to Tahlequah and I fish the lower Illinois. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know a bunch of guys from Tulsa that fish down there. Oh yeah, I know a bunch of guys. Well, I don't know if you have any more questions. Anyway, good luck, man. All right, thank you. You too. Say it's from broke, broken around Tahlequah. I was fishing six or seven foot deep here a minute ago and caught a couple bass. I think those bass are a little bit deeper and more up under that building. And I bet you that's where the crappie are too. That building serves as a Big old brush pile. 
good cover. Did you check your hook? Oh. That's one problem I've always, you know, I've, I've fished swing minnows, um, which are longer, have more of a tail than those. And um, the problem was they'd grab the tail and they never could hook them. So that's why I don't fish with them for trout. They'd hit them, just hard to hook them. We were catching a lot more fish earlier. I'm going to go a little deeper. Only about four foot. I've lost a lot of my leader. I keep breaking fish off. All right, we'll try this. And call it quits. Yeah. No. I think the bass I've caught are little large mouths. This black and yellow has worked all good good all day. But what I really like to use is a brown jig with an orange head. And that's, that's my favorite for fishing a jig under a float. I think we wore them out. We sore lipped them all. Oh, I just had a bite. Doggone it. I look down just for a second. When there's no chop on the water, that water is just slicker, just slick. Then I like to just jiggle that float just a little bit, give that jig some life. Oh, no, I caught the building. 
I know my jig hit the the metal. Oh, it came off. Come on, Richard. Catch a fish. Now, how did you do this? Oh, I see. Go through there. And that's... Okay. I thought that was a great cast. And the float was staying right up there by the wall, too. I thought, man, that's good. I didn't know it was stuck to the wall. There, I did it again. I probably about got you on that back cast. Come on, fish. Come on, crappie. Now I'm stuck on that moss. Yep. All right. This is Okay, somehow I just lost my jig. I have no idea. Bad knot, something. Just lost it. Okay, so yeah, that's pro that. Yeah, you're probably right. You know, it probably did. Loosened it. Cut it. I'm gonna quit. And get the camera out of the sun. guys on that ride over there having fun all right thanks for watching we uh we tried we caught a couple thanks for watching see you tomorrow the endings are always screwy for me